All right, and welcome back. Now, time for us to discuss the business of today. And today, we they actually look at women in politics. What will be the barrier or what will be the challenges where women they face in participating in Nigerian politics? And that's now why we bring the editor of African Development Information to search us more on top of what we need to know um, on women and their engagement in politics. Good morning to you, Mr. Rotimi Shankore. Good morning, Mr. Rotimi. Morning, ladies. Good morning, sir. So, what do you go talk say be our biggest our biggest challenge as women? Because a lot of women, when we don't they talk to them, they go talk say they know they give them the opportunity. But now it can't be like say the parole don't they change. Is it that women now don't get opportunity? They just know they're interested. I be waiting go say be our basic challenge. Well, uh, first make I talk say the work we they do now with data, now with search and analysis. On the Different, different matter within they call human development issue, including gender uh, equality and women's rights. So now under that topic, the women in politics come. Okay, first of all, uh, women never get chance to participate in politics. Now the thing where the data talk be that. Uh, if you look, for instance, the data for women in parliament, you go see, say, for all of Africa, that Nigeria get the lowest percentage of women in parliament for all of Africa, all the 54 countries, 5.6%. The highest now for Rwanda, 61%. So you see as the gap take me. Nigeria also now the 10th lowest in the world out of 190 parliaments globally for women in parliament. And the reason why they focus on women in parliament, we say, now for parliament, then they elect people. So now there you go get better understanding of the representation, people where they represent the different communities. So 5.6% women in parliament, lowest in Africa. Remember, women are 50% of the society. So half of the society, Get 5.6%. And you know, this is not a really terrible matter because it means say when it comes to the representation of women that matter for parliament and for government, women no get voice. Whether now for land ownership, for instance, for women's health, like maternal health issues, reproductive health issues, uh, work issues like maternity leave and so forth like that, women no get voice. And when I see what happened with the gender equality bill, where they for Senate, you see all of the things where all those uh, male senators talk there, we know, in fact, none of those things make sense at all. And it just shows, say, even the male parliamentarians, no one make women get the equal representation for parliament. But you know, it is even more than getting, now we talk about parliament now. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the House of Assembly and uh, look at the, the story of the woman where they, where they assault, a lawmaker where they actually assault mm -hmm. um, and by a security um, um, aid it, to it, the prison or guard. And at the end of the day, nothing was be done about it. Now, what about protection of women where even decide on their own, say, come, so challenges day, but make her enter inside there. But they are not protected. Uh, now, part of waiting then they call the general prejudice and discrimination with they against women. Is that because that matter is a really sad matter. Women, women honorable, they inside National Assembly mm -hmm. premises, we are in the work. A visitor come, come testify before a committee of parliament, mm -hmm. whether a head of prison or head of custom, now visitor yes. to the place. Mm -hmm. In aid, somebody where they escort them, slap woman parliamentarian, say make it come out for road, saying your girl won't pass. Mm -hmm. You know, which kind, which kind of nonsense be that? The National Assembly itself, for set example with that matter, ensure say that aid will slap women parliamentarian. First of all, they arrested for assault, assault. Mm -hmm. saying they charged, mm -hmm. and because the evidence they clear, saying they punished. The fact say all those things don't happen clearly, undermine the status of that woman 
honorable. And obviously, it would discourage other women. Say, so e even if they elect me as parliamentarian, mm -hmm. for my office, me for my office, an assistant to an aide to a, a visitor, we contest if it slapped me for my office. Well, in, the, in that happen. case, who, who you go, you, you really blame the man because if you look at our culture, a lot of things from foundation, um, we, we get a lot of wrong impression. Now, if you look at our culture, even the woman, if they talk a typical Eastern setting, when did they do meeting? If a family meeting, woman not supposed to talk. If you get gathering, or if you want to collect money, anything where your husband or the man of the house give you, the woman supposed to take him like that. If you check our culture from base roots, you go see I'm saying a lot of women, a lot of times, women, they don't put us down to this level and make sure say the man is always like this. Now a lot of people don't get problem with that, but now we don't they see as they even affect us politically, affect us business wise. And this same woman where they talk of now the women then they create a lot of SMEs where they affect the economic mm. growth of Nigeria. Now, five years ago, they say the GD, the GDP we will be get for inside Nigeria. Now mm. SME then give up to half of that GDP. And that same SME where women, they lead. Yes. Then be the one we give over 25% employment mm. for inside the country. Now, we know they talk to men, no, they do anything. But if women, where ideally, suppose they're at home, no, they do anything, don't decide to take that extra step to come out, mm. to decide to say, you know what, make we help, make we help our men, mm. make we see how we carry the economy, go forward. And mm. yet, our cultural background is hindering in a way. You feel saying a success with this so far? Because we see women excelling more in business yes. than even than in, in politics, politics. Because they feel comfortable doing business um, than even going into politics. So upbringing, something is wrong there. Uh, well, first of all, make I talk, say, any culture will discriminate against anybody, they wrong. So any culture will discriminate against women, they wrong. And make I assure people, say, culture, they change. When you both they say they evolve, they change over time. If there are many culture mm -hmm. where we they do 10, 15, 20 years ago, where we know they do again. For some part of the country, they one time will be saved and born twins. Then go say, ah, this one now cost. Yeah, then go yes. throw away the, the, uh, the twins. If they happen up to 50 years ago now, you know they happen again now. Maybe one governor and wife just born uh, quadruplets. Yeah. Uh -huh. And everybody they celebrate. Yet just near to that place, if now before, those picking them for don't disappear now. So mm. culture they change. Now for men, many of the things where men, many men don't understand, we say they don't get anything to fear from gender equality or women's rights. Women are human beings. And as far as women they participate in society, women they're entitled to the same equal opportunity and the same right and the same protection under well, the in law. Theory, but that's in theory, but no, 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 when no, it comes no. to practical, that it takes different suits wait in every time. Uh -uh. Not be from theory things they start. No, but a lot of ah, things for inside our country they do already. They still for that long time. No. We get a lot of bills for inside we, Nigeria. We, we get to just make, we get, level nine day. we get to make progress. And one of the reasons why we get to make progress, we say, first of all, not only because women they're entitled to their human rights as human beings, but also because if you look all over the world, for all the countries where then they deprive women of their human rights, now those countries, they, they, they underdeveloped past. Mm. Even in Nigeria, if you look the data and the evidence, any part of the country where women, they, they deprive of their human rights or, or, or dignity past, those parts of the country, they, they underdeveloped past. Because men alone know if it carry the society. And anybody who don't go to school, no. If, if you go any mixed school for primary, secondary, or university, you go, no. Say girls or women, they for your class, where they intelligent pass you. So the idea is, say, women, do they less intelligent than men, and then therefore no, they're entitled they to the same rights. But that's uh, that's you know, nonsense. A lot it's of not people work. always say that when women take the helms of affair, that they tend to be overbossy, or they try to do things to undermine the men. Nah, and men will begin to feel marginalized. Nah, they begin lie. to feel as if a woman is uh, high-handed. Nah, is this still a cultural problem? Or it is a true manifestation that women can become uh, leaders that, that, that <laughs> like to dominate Or oh, the latest men. one, they are not emotionally intelligent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. May we just clear up one thing mm -hmm. first. The point of being the boss is to be the boss. So if you be woman, you must be the, and you be wo woman boss, you must be the boss. Once you be woman boss, you are not there for anybody to mess you about. You mm -hmm. must get the job done. Mm -hmm. So the idea is, say, if women be your guardian, the they bossy. That one, that one, no work. When it comes to a woman dishing out, 
men still feel as if it's an assault to them. Uh, and that is the gender equality thing. That is where the gender equality, that is where the gender equality yeah. thing uh, comes up. Then we get to educate and enlighten those men. Say, well don't they change? Eh? Say, now progress we day now. Like I talk, if you go primary or secondary school where they mixed, or you go university, you go not say women day for your class where they're more intelligent than you. Mm. If then Sabi pass you, then naturally, if you they work with them, they must be the boss. It's as simple as that. Now, person where Sabi pass, now they lead. So if person they lead, you say because him be woman, you say you know go follow the agreed instruction or protocol, and I be say you know respect yourself, be that. So what are the, the main proprietors mm -hmm. of educating um, and even the men and even the girl child. Is it the parents? Because I can remember growing up, I mean, they feel say my role not just for me to just um, if I get to a certain stage, stop schooling, get married, give birth to children, and, and I should not even act, I, should, mm. I make I not even aspire, aspire to, to take do over any, more. But then my brother, he, the, the kind of training that they give him, he say you have to work very hard, you have to, you you be a president, mm. you will be this. But for the woman, now you will be a good mm. wife, wife, yeah, not uh, one be a bad wife. So you feel say the parents get a role in actually building up this child? Of course, the parents get a role. If you see any place where women then they successful. Now, partly because the parents, they encourage them. The parents support them, both the male parents and the female parents. So that's one an important role. Another thing now for school. The idea, say, for school, you know, go encourage women to play leadership role for school. That one day, wrong. But also another important area now for media, like we did for media now. If you look for TV or you hear for radio, you go see, say, for many adverts, then they relegate women to the role of people where they cook, uh, people where they uh, wash plates and things like that. Now, then they call all those things gender stereotyping. Mm. Say, you know, matter as you read rich, if you marry, you know, your work now to make sure, say, all oh, the cook, you know, you mm -hmm. be star. When I know that advert, I be. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, every woman a star, you go cook well, well. Another one, you go wash house well, well. When the in laws <laughs> come, they go monitor everywhere. This place they shine, that place they shine. And so we they monitor you up. Now, all those gender stereotyping from media, now, now part of the things where they promote. The suppression of women be that. Wow, uh, honestly, our have many to things where we get to deal with. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> mm. I really wish uh, we had more time. I'm sure mm. that will bring Mr. Rotimi back mm -hmm. uh, right. to discuss to discuss more extensively on women, the empowerment, yeah. and general uh, things that affect human rights. And if you actually um, listen to Ram on radio, you there every Saturday on top of Azubi FM, and you go hear plenty of development plans. Where yes. this go what time? In Nigeria. Every Saturday morning. Nine. Every Every Saturday. From 9 a.m. on Saturday. Yes, 9 a.m. on Saturday. 9 for Lagos, 3 p.m. for Abuja on Wazobia. FM. Right. To enjoy more of this, our Ogunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.